What is up everyone? Welcome back to Motivation Monday. So today I want to talk about achievements and achieving and and getting to reaching your goals. And I know I've talked about it before, but I, what I want to do is really show you guys. Um, one of the things I've been working on tirelessly over the last three months, um, I, I purchased um, this the set of courses a while ago um, to set out on training to be a life coach, training to be an NLP practitioner, and you know combining the two to help people and give them direction and purpose and help them with things in their life. And a lot of these YouTube videos are part of that. Um, so these are a way that I can give to you guys and help you by motivating you, educating you, and entertaining you at times um, to show you that um, I'm practicing what I preach. And to show that, I want to show you guys, today I completed one of the first of four courses that I have for this, this journey, this, this um, process of becoming a life coach that I want to do. And it's been over the course of three months, over 27 hours worth of training, um, doing, you know, uh, learning this stuff. And I still have my life coaching certification to go through. That's what I'm working on next. Um, and then I have an NLP master course, which takes what I learned in this course and goes deeper and, and teaches you even more than what you already know. Um, and then I have another course of NLP principles for influencing management and leadership to really uh, utilize a lot of those tools and focus them on those types of things. So by the time I'm done, I'll have over 100 plus hours worth of training and experience with this stuff. And I'm doing it for myself, but I'm also doing it for you guys because I want you guys to be able to trust and come to me and, and me know what I'm talking about when I come to you. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of passion behind this for me because this stuff is, it, a lot of it, as I was learning it, I practiced it already. I just didn't know what it was called. I just didn't know the fine details of it and how to really just hone it and, and be a master at it. So it's been, it's, it, it, today has been a sense of accomplishment. I'm super stoked, super happy, you know, getting to a point where I'm achieving and one of the things you learn in NLP is everything is possible in bite-sized chunks. And I've talked about this before and I want to reiterate it and I want to show you guys. Basically, I'm laying a foundation, a structure of a, potentially being this, this elevated life coach and um, practitioner of NLP and knowing the ins and outs of it to be able to help you guys. This is the first building block in that structure. Because to get to here, you have to build up one by one to get to that point. And it, it, it's just not going to happen overnight. This is, a, this is a perfect example of it not happening overnight. You know, uh, It took me three months, over 27 hours, to, to get something, a recognition, and showing me that, hey, you have learned this stuff. You can teach others. You can show others and help them learn and be uh, more efficient in the way they live and the way they do things. So, you know, now I'm starting step two to this, this journey to the top and it will be my life coaching. Then I've got step three, step four, step five. And along the way you have little tiny steps of, of little victories of things. But you have to put in the work, you have to put in the time. It just doesn't come overnight. And I think this really showcases that. It shows the amount of work and the effort and time I've been putting into these things. And just like, um, you know, I, I have uh, another little ladder of this, this pitch competition coming up. And the goal is to win, but I got to start here with executing a business plan, and then executing, um, you know, working on the pitch, executing research, executing this. And eventually, you know, executing the application. And if they accept me, then showing up to the event and executing the pitch to where they love me enough to where they vote for me to win it. So it's, it's, it's not just I 
say, hey, I want to do this, and then I show up, and then I win. No, there, there's steps to it. There's this, this work that I have to put in to make sure that it's exactly the way I want, exactly how um, I want to I wanna show and, and tell these people, hey, this is what I've got. So, and it's not going to be perfect. I, and I know I say exactly, but um, to me, it'll be perfect because I'm putting in my time and energy to show these people, hey, this is the idea I have. This is what I want to do. This is this is what I would need, and I really want to win this competition. So, I mean, I, I hope uh, the whole the whole reason why I'm sharing this today for Motivation Monday is because I want to motivate you guys. If there's something that you've been been waiting to do, or you, you keep putting off, or or you, you feel like oh, it's going to take forever, if you don't even take a step, you're never going to get any closer to that goal. You know, if, if the step is a thousand steps, or, or excuse me, the goal is a thousand steps away, and you don't even want to take that first step, you're still going to be a thousand steps away. But if you break it down and you take two steps today, and two steps tomorrow, and a step the next day, and you keep doing step by step by step every other day or every day, and you just keep inching towards that goal, before you know it, you will achieve it. Before you know it, you will get to a point where you're like, man I'm almost done and then that gives you even more motivation to keep going and finish I was reading s some statistics on people who do um, training and other things schooling and stuff and with with doing this type of training they say only four percent finish that's insane that's a you know if a hundred people sign up for this only four people are gonna finish it and that right there gave me a lot of, of empowerment of like, dang, if, if 100 people were doing this while I was doing it, I'm one of four people that made it through. Now, obviously, it could be five, seven, eight, nine, who knows? It's average. That's what statistics are. They're just an average of, of so many. So, but still, just that knowledge of like I, me completing something that a lot of people don't do is empowering it gives me a lot more motivation to keep going on to the next one and the next one and as I complete each one it keeps moving me forward so it, it, you know it, that's the self motivation of you know getting this completing you know completing this stuff and getting it moving forward so I I hope that you guys got something out of this I hope it maybe motivated you to look at this and go wow he's taking steps forward why can't I you know that's that's what I want for everyone you know find something that that you have a purpose for that you have motivation for and go get it you know if you want to be a successful photographer you want to learn photography just because you suck with a camera doesn't mean you can't learn it everyone has the ability to learn things you know, it was funny the guy that was teaching the NLP course he talked about uh, going to like a kid's birthday party and he didn't want to be just all the adults there that do nothing and kind of just watch the kids he wanted to make an impression and he knew that he had he he wanted to look up something cool so he looked up magic tricks um, something else and like balloon animals so he's like you know what? I can do balloon animals I have no idea how to do one but I'm sure I can learn so he went and looked and obviously I would say 99% of people have no idea how to make a balloon animal but it doesn't stop people from learning yeah you, the first time you do a balloon animal you probably suck at it but the point is is you practice you try you work at it and you have the mindset of I can do this I know I can do this it goes with anything in life now the thing is is there are limitations you, you know I'm sorry if you're if you're five feet tall you could probably be a really good basketball player. It's just the, the the chances of you getting the NBA is very small. But if you have the ability, you have the drive, and you have the willpower, who says you can't? The probability is really low. Doesn't mean you can't. Look at the guy on Seattle. He has one hand. Went through the draft, got drafted as is, and is a starter on defense for the Seattle Seahawks has one hand 
that's insane. You know, most people that have one hand would be like, I can't play football. But look at this guy. He's going out there in the NFL. He's a professional now. Getting paid, you know, a lot of money to play football with one hand. That's insane. That's that's hugely motivating to me to see somebody like that. I think that's great that he can go out and do that. I saw him in the combine. And, dude, some of the things he was doing was impressive. Like, he outbenched, I think, like, 99% of the people with one hand. Like, it was crazy. So, you know, it's, it's things like that that, you know, people can go out and do whatever they want if they put their mind to it, if they, if they break it down into bite-sized chunks. You know, it, it, it just, it, it's motivating. And I hope that I motivated you guys. I hope you got something out of this. You know, maybe maybe a friend needs to hear this. Share it off to a friend. Leave a comment down below. Maybe there's something you want to do. Share it down below. Keep, you know, make, make yourself accountable. Share it to people and say, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and achieve this. I'm going to go and do this. I've been putting it off for too long. Start something today that tomorrow you could be like, I accomplished this. That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it, like I said. And I hope to see you guys back Wednesday for my weekly vlog that I'm starting up. I got some got some footage for some things. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless.